When Mon General Hospital named its cancer center in honor of Zelda Stein Weiss, it was a celebration for a remarkable woman. Zelda gave more than half a century of volunteer service to Mon General, and she was absolutely passionate about the hospital's mission to provide the very best cancer care and to empower local folks to fight back against the cancer disease. I think if, if Mom were alive today, uh, she would be so happy that all the hours that she gave, all the meetings that she attended, it, it's all worth it because it's saving lives. Zelda helped create the Mon General Hospital Auxiliary in 1944. She was a driving force behind its biggest fundraiser, the Ball of the Year. Since that first gala in 1963, the annual event has raised millions of dollars for Mon General. Zelda was also a founding board member of the Hospital Foundation, where she proved to be an extraordinary leader. Zelda was a person that the moment you met her, you knew that she was a force to be reckoned with. I mean, she had these brilliant, dazzling blue eyes, and if she locked those eyes on you, it was like thunder and lightning showing up. It was, it was an impressive thing. She was very passionate about having a community hospital um, and giving back to the community. That's the one thing I can say about Zelda. She was a caring, concerned citizen, encouraging, uh, loving, supportive driving you know when you wanted to quit or give up on something Zelda never gave up she was a fighter she supported you in anything you wanted to do and really pushed with love <laughs> Zelda Stein was a local girl a graduate of Morgantown High and WVU she and her husband Howard Weiss had the Royal Furniture Store on High Street she was very successful business woman as was her father um, and had the furniture store here in town for years and years and years and uh, met, I think, most of the community that way. Very astute and uh, very, very smart. In mid-century America, women were expected to devote their lives to their husbands and their children. Zelda was a woman ahead of her time. Zelda wanted so much more out of life. She ran a business, she raised her family, she was a devoted wife, and she cared about her community. And she devoted her life to this community and to Mon General Hospital. She knew that that health care was so important to a, a small community like Morgantown and um, that, that, was her, that was her passion. Zelda's passion became focused by personal tragedy. Her father was still a young man when he died of cancer. Zelda's husband suffered the same fate when he was only 59 years old. Her sister Florence was diagnosed with cancer at a time when the disease was perceived as a death sentence. If someone's family member had cancer, they never mentioned that C word. Uh, it was always, well, you know, Aunt Millie's sick. They would never say cancer. And that made my mother angry because it was cancer with a big C. And then Zelda herself was diagnosed with breast cancer. She kept her cancer diagnosis um, uh, very private. Um, but she, once she realized she was over the hurdle, then she wanted to be an example for other people and she wanted to do something to help other folks who were diagnosed with cancer to be able to face it the way she had and to be able to, to defeat it. The result was the Zelda Stein Weiss Cancer Awareness and Early Detection Project. Launched in 1990, it was established with funds donated by Zelda's sisters, Florence and Shirley, the community outreach lives on to this day, providing low-cost cancer screenings and cancer information to area residents. During Breast Cancer Awareness Month in October, thousands of pink packets go out to the community, empowering women to prevent and fight back against the disease. Zelda Stein Weiss died of complications from a series of strokes just five months after the cancer center was named in her honor. She was 95 years old. She was what I, I call a somebody. And when I say that, I mean, somebody ought to do something about that. I, I was so proud that, that she was that somebody that said, I'm not gonna wait for someone else to do it, I'm gonna do it. It needs to be done. 